RSTs compared with such luminaries as Jimi Hendrix, B.B. King, and the late Stevie Ray Vaughan. Healy has revived the idea of a 60s-style blues rock band, taking old songs and giving them a new twist. He's had a lifelong preoccupation with music and a passion for collecting old blues and jazz records. He has thousands. And now, with three albums to his name, this guitar virtuoso, the adopted son of an Etobicoke family, knows how to strike the right chord. On tonight's CTV biography, Jeff Healy, perfectionist, right down to his frets. <laughs> At the tender age of 28, Jeff Healy has platinum albums under his belt and accolades and awards coming out of his ears. Has any of this gone to his head? He's described as prodigious guitar talent, a wunderkind. He's graduated to become the Messiah. Really, really this comes from this. London. Uh, I really had to, well, London, see, I've got, oh, you mean London, England, or London? London, London England. Oh, I was just going to say, London, Ontario, half of London is related to me, so they <laughs> have to say that. nice things about me. Not one to blow his own horn, the only thing on Healy's mind these days is making music. Not quite as good, is it? On the other end of the headphones, the two members of his band, Tom Steven and Joe Rockman, and a big-time L.A. producer. Great track, Jeff. Hey, yeah, except the guitar was out of town. They're working on a fourth album, and at the band's own recording studio, a renovated house in a cozy Toronto neighborhood, Healy can take all the time he wants to get it the way he wants. The only thing to do is just to open it up. Let's do it. I turn it up. Quite a bit. What be Healy's been turning it up quite a bit since he was three. My dad had wanted to buy me a piano. Um, but, you know, pianos were just out of the question as far as affordability to us. And uh, so the, the guitar it ended up being. And because his arms weren't long enough, this was the only way he could hold it. By and large, you're self-taught, right? Pretty much for guitar I was. By the time he was 13, he was performing with rock bands. And at 18, he had his own band. But Canada said no to the Jeff Healy band. Canadians weren't as apt to take a shot at what they would consider maybe a blues rock band. Uh, that's not going to sell a lot of records. Maybe there's not a big blues rock market in Canada. Whereas the Americans, as soon as they saw it, I mean, we were literally signed within a couple of months of our first trip to New York. A little talent for you tonight. Uh, Jeff Healy is here tonight. They loved him. He was different. And he was blind. You've been blind since you were about a year old? Yeah. What happened? Retinoblastoma, in layman terms, is cancer of the eyes. And um, so both eyes, you know, were obligated to be removed. I've learned to adjust and uh, as I say, how to be as independent as possible. And <laughs> it is six o'clock and time to take a break from recording. The independence Healy talks about not only drives him, but the Jeff Healy machine. I mean, we are not only a band, but we're a company. We form a company to manage ourselves and to manage other bands. None of us are individually rich. Our company is strong, so we put everything back into the company. Because Jeff and Joe and myself, we've always believed that we want to promote other Canadian bands. There is no question who's in charge here. Is he the boss? Oh, he's the boss. Boss. And no question how they feel about that. What makes you good? Jeff. <laughs> and no illusions about success. I'm making a living at something that I enjoy. And if that means jamming with George Harrison, schmoozing with B.B. King, or hanging out with the Queen, no one can argue with that. Yeah.